Jeremy did a good job. Um, got hit by the pitch, still battled to stay in there. Belt hit him in the belt. Uh, and then he hurt himself swinging, so that's why we had to come out of the game. Uh, he took a swing and he had a little pinch there, not really oblique, kind of more back. So we'll reevaluate him uh, next couple of days and see where he's at. But he did a great job. I thought his breaking ball was superb today. Um, was bouncing it. Uh, and he used his change up a lot and, it, and located the fastball. So it was a really, really good job. It's not easy to pitch when you get that lead. And he kept you know, going right at him, getting strike one, uh, and just kept him away from the big inning. Yeah. It wasn't even the one he swung and missed. It was the one before that. Right. Was it related to where he got hit? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, a little bit towards the back. It's not really oblique. Yeah. Do you guys know if he'll be able to make it next start? We'll have to. We'll have to see. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably come in on the off day, get some treatment, and see how he, see how he is. And well, I mean, five days from now, we'll be with the day off, full five. So we'll see. If you guys needed to skip him, you could probably do that without. Right. We could. How about the way you guys were able to – what's the say about the team to be able to take advantage of other teams? Yeah, I think that was huge. A seven-run inning, we, uh, we did everything that we had to do uh, to score runs. And, you know, we, we capitalized on their mistakes. I thought the ball that Peralta hit, that's a tough area to get Barmas. I mean, that's a laser. It did go through his legs, but that was a laser. He probably shielded a little bit also. So we hit some balls well that inning, um, but it wasn't – it wasn't like we were just clubbing them. We, we took some walks, we made them pitch, uh, and we took advantage of the mistakes. And Goldie got that hit up the middle, even though it was a scratch hit. That's what he does. He gets runners in. Uh, you know what? I didn't know what they were going to do. It's early in the game. That's his decision. Jeremy, just what has been the key for him on the last six or seven where he's been so good? Just getting ahead. You know, throwing strike one, and the breaking ball starting to come back. And his, his changeup is something that he's always had. That he's, I, I think he's starting to get more comfortable with again, and I do give some credit to our catchers. You know, Salty's done a good job with them, um, and that's like I said, it's not easy to pitch in those situations. We saw what happened in in Milwaukee when we got the lead; we had a hard time, you know, staying with it. So that's, that's a really good job by him because after that, our offense pretty much was shut down, and it was pretty quick. He was going back out to pitch. Would he have gone out for the seventh? He was going to go out for the seventh. We're going to go hitter to hitter. Good. I think it's I think it's something that we expected. You know, we we're both guys uh, have some offense in their in their uh, history. Salty especially was an offensive guy. Um, he's really worked hard on his defense here, and the bats started to come around. And, and uh, Wellington just needed at bats. He didn't have too many this year, uh, being the third catcher in Chicago and then being the backup in Seattle. So just giving him at bats, and he's he, he's got some pop in that bat. Yeah. Uh, how important early in the no, they're, they're all important. I mean, every series is important, but when you're playing within your division, you can always, you know, make some hay on them. So we, we want to continue to win these series. That's the important thing. I, you always love the sweep, but to win the series two out of three is, is a good thing for us. How did Yasmani fare? Hmm? How did Yasmani fare? He was fine. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, that last swing was real good. He actually, uh, we gave him a 3 0 take. He missed the sign. So. But it was a good swing. He hit a line drive to right, um, which is a, and it's actually second to last at bat. Hit the, la the bullet to the second baseman. So I think he's feeling pretty good. I would have to see tomorrow. Text me tomorrow, Jack. <laughs> Yeah, I think we need it. Um, there's some guys who've been playing a lot. You know, losing Enciarte um, kind of hurts our rotation in the outfield. So I think AJ's been playing a whole lot. And it's going to be hard to take him out in Denver in that big outfield. So it's good for him to get a nice day to breathe. Uh, he needs that. And that's what will be nice about getting Ender back to be able to get that rotation going again. In, in today's game? No. It's too close. Too close. You, you have to be – it's hard for me to take him out of a game we're winning. I'll do it in a game we're losing at times if I don't feel like we have – have it is to come back who's, who's available in their bullpen. But uh, he's too much of a defensive stopper for us. 
that mantra around here just come to the ballpark? Well, you know what it is? People keep talking about it. It's and I guess what it comes down to, we have to be good enough to be 500. And we haven't been able to do it. So we have to be better. We have to be a better team. That's, that's just my honest opinion. I think about it a lot now because I'm asked that question on a daily basis. And I think we're going to get there and we're going to go past it. But we have to be better. We have to be a better team to get there. You guys, kind of along those lines, you guys are 7-3 in your last 10, I think. Is this the best baseball you guys have played this year? I think it, it all goes with our starting pitching. Our starting pitching gives us a chance to win. I think we, we are we're a very, very good team. It, it allows our bullpen to get rested. Our hitters feel better about things. They don't feel like they're always coming back. So those guys have been doing a great job of, of really keeping us in the game early. And uh, you saw the games we weren't, we struggled. So I think that's where it all starts.